so let's take a look at this. I feel like for a lot of you, a major relationship has just ended, okay? And you're, you're kind of dealing with the aftermath right now of how to pick up the pieces and move on. A lot of you might have been in a relationship with a water sign. A water sign is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is what I'm sensing here. And um, I'm sensing so many cards that are echoing the same theme. So this is going to be a love relationship. And it's a love relationship that has been on again, off again. And then all of a sudden, this is uh, one of those on again, off again moments. So, so this is like an off again moment. And you might be tempted to go back to it. Um, because at the heart of this reading here is the devil. And the devil indicates, you know, it's sort of like an addiction to a person where it takes every ounce of strength, resilience from inside of us to be able to extract ourselves from the situation. So I, I feel like I can't even reshuffle and redo this spread, mainly because the cards are all echoing the same theme. So a lot of you, unfortunately, are dealing with some type of a, an ending to a relationship. But instead of seeing it as a relationship that needs to end, I feel that a lot of you are thinking to yourself, that this might just be one of those, you know, rough patches, like the on again, off again. It just might be an off day. So you're kind of hanging in there and you're trying to, you know, be resilient and to co continue to work at it. But the, the thing is, the other person I don't feel is very cooperative. They're showing up in the reverse position. So for those of you dealing with a, um, a water sign, so this is, once again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I do feel that, you know, they're a king energy, which is somebody who is like, um, it can be a man or a woman, but I feel like it's somebody who is very um, con conscious. They're very deliberate about either withholding affection or either, you know, um, no, it's sort of like somebody who is taking the situation for granted, who is taking you for granted and who is not putting in their fair share of the work in order to maintain the relationship. So the relationship itself might have been very one sided from one partner to the net from either you or from the other person. And I'm sensing here that this situation has been kind of, um, spiraling, spiraling, excuse me, out of control for quite some time. In the past position, we have the magician. This is a situation where in the past, you might have felt like things were kind of like slipping through your fingers, okay? The magician reverse also denotes an energy of one person in the relationship being very manipulative in a bad way, you know, just um, instead of manipulating things and making, making something out of nothing they're you know doing the same thing making something out of nothing but in a way that co that chips away at the foundation of this relationship because the foundation here we have the ten of cups in the reverse so i feel i feel like a lot of you are letting go of this relationship but instead of letting it go you're thinking to yourself oh it's going to come back together again because we always make up and break up well at the heart of this is that's true you always make up and break up because it's one of those toxic codependent type of relationship where both parties are kind of bound to one another in unhealthy ties okay unhealthy attachments it's a dependency issue so Taurus if you're dealing with this you really have to look at this as look at it for what it is first of all but also don't look at this as a temporary break from the other person look at this as a permanent break and it is really time to move on with your life okay and we have here to the three of swords which indicates to me sorry about that this indicates to me a heartache, okay? And there is no... I, I just don't see this going anywhere. It's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle and you will break up and, you know, make up and then break up again. So you have to change the way you look at this situation, all right? Because um, what's crowning you here is the Nine of Swords. It's sort of like, you know, he, he's if you can see him, 
he is very, very battle scarred. And um, he's been through a lot. A lot of you have been through a lot with this relationship partner, or a lot of you have just been through a lot in life. So you might have just, you know, gone out in life from a very young age, have to take care of yourself. And you have had to, um, you know, financially, you've had to be on your own from a very young age. You, you did everything by the book. You took care of yourself. You took care of other people. You sent money home to your, you know, for whatever reason. You sent m money home to take care of siblings, to take care of parents. You've been through a lot in life. And I do feel because of it, you know, you're, you are very sympathetic to people who are struggling. You are very sympathetic to people who don't have their life together because you want to show them the ropes. You want to show them the skills in order to do that themselves. But some people take on more of a victim mentality than you do. Some people just don't, they, they want, they want the help offered and they're not willing to put in the hard work. Okay. So they're not like you. And you have to understand that you can't go through life just enabling this type of behavior. So just let it go. And it's in the reverse position here, meaning that it's kind of like, I've been through a lot, but I haven't learned. So you really have to open your eyes to look at this situation for what it really is. Okay. For those of you, because we have the devil in the uh, center of the spread, it indicates to me, you know, addictions. It indicates like, um, vices in our lives, addicted to food, addicted to unhealthy relationships, being addicted to situations that are not good for us. And things are starting to catch up to you. Okay. So if you've had like issues with drinking, because I do feel, you know, 10 of cups can also denote drinking. I don't have other cards that corroborate it, but two of cups, 10 of cups, possibly, possibly drinking or just being in the wrong relationships over and over again, hoping the other person would change or thinking to yourself, oh, it's not that bad. We will, you know, make up again. But I do feel for some reason I'm sensing I'm speaking to a younger crowd this time because I don't usually get this energy for, um, for, Taurus. Taurus are very level-headed. So I don't feel, I don't understand why. Yeah, this is definitely a, like a younger crowd. So if you are, you know, from whatever age you are until like 25, I feel that this message is specifically for you. If you're in a relationship with someone who's a lot older, okay, and I'm, I'm, if you're like, you know, younger than 25 and you're in a relationship with someone who is significantly older, possibly in their 30s or in their 40s. I'm going to say this and I'm going to just say it. You're being used because I do feel the energy is very, very different. There is a fascination with you. There's a fascination that I'm sensing here where you are looking at your romantic partner in through, you know, rose colored glasses. And the person that you're involved with is potentially a water sign. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, and they are manipulative. And like I said, a king energy, kings are very strategic. They are very, very careful and meticulous in the ways they conduct business. Okay. So they're looking at this relationship as if it is a business transaction and they're the authority figure in this situation, especially if you are a Taurus female, young female, under the age of 25, dating somebody who is significantly older than you, you are very enthralled by this person because of their position of prominence. Okay. I feel that they have, you know, they, they have like a very high position. They're somebody that is very admired. Well, they're, they have admiration from the people around them. So you are very fascinated by this person. However, I'm sensing that the other person, like I said, kings are very strategic. They know what they're doing and they're counting what they're getting out of this. So you have to be very careful if you are a younger female dating that older male, just, and it's an on again, off again relationship. He could potentially be married. He could potentially be married and you're in it for the ride. Okay you don't put yourself in this situation. Okay. I'm sensing very strongly that I'm speaking to a younger crowd this time. I don't know why, especially like a uh, female Taurus. Okay. For those of you who are like, you know, the, the, the normal viewing crowd, 
I don't understand why this pattern is repeating because it just doesn't make sense to me. I, I'm not sensing that. Um, the only thing I can say is that you yourself are in a position of authority is what I'm sensing. You might be yourself in a position of authority. Someone in your presence is like, it keeps messing up. They keep messing up. And the kind-hearted soul that you are, you give them a chance over and over and over again. And I feel like for a lot of you, I'm still getting, you know, regardless of your age, I feel that you're very accomplished and you are in a position of authority and you're giving somebody multiple opportunities on the work front. And this is the month in which you're realizing that they, they can't make the cut because they don't have the skills that are required for the job. So you're going to have to let them go. And it, it, it hurts you inside because you do want to give people, you know, that opportunity in life. Because once again, I'm feeling as if you've been through a lot in life and every, you know, you, you work really hard to get to a position that you are right now, the position of authority. And you want to give people the benefit of the doubt. You want to give them a chance. And you're, you're starting to realize that, you know, it's not about me giving this person a chance. It's about the person not having the skills in order to do the job. So it's a disservice. It's a disruption in the streamlined processes, in the, the workflow of this work environment. It could potentially be hazardous to other workers if you're, for some reason, working in like a warehouse or in a factory or something like that, where there is heavy machinery around. And this person's conduct would compromise the safety of the work environment is what I'm sensing. So unfortunately, you feel bad, but you have to let them go. And once again, the advice here is you have to release, okay? You have to release. So if we're looking at, you know, angel oracle cards, this is basically release your ex. You have to learn to release. Don't hold on to it so tightly because it's not going anywhere. I do feel cyclical patterns. Things are like going around in circle and every time you know it comes around it, and it, it falls apart and you're like it, i'm not surprised and then you let it back in and then it, it goes around in circle so it's a vicious cycle that you have to break and the way out for this is you have to break the the cycle you have to be the one to take charge and just let it go okay um in terms of um the foundation of this going back to the foundation here the Ten of Cups indicates, you know, the apex of the human emotional happiness, satisfaction, getting everything, the whole nine yards that you want out of life. So you're feeling ecstatic, but it's in the reverse position. So once again, I am inclined to think that this is a very one-sided relationship in which one partner is getting everything they want and the other person is always empty-handed and empty-hearted. So they end up empty-handed, depleted, emotionally, spiritually. So there is something to be said here. If anything that is built on something that is that unstable, it's just not going to work. And I feel like the cards are all reiterating the same messages. Because in the outcome position, we have the Two of Cups, which means that the other person is not your equal. Okay? They're not cognizant of the give and take in the relationship. They don't see a common path with you. At the same time, we have the two of wands, which indicates to me, once again, this is also a partnership card. And it means two people on the common path, but in the reverse position, it means they never saw themselves there in the first place. They never saw themselves there in the first place. They never saw a common ground, a common path, a common trajectory in the future with you. So you really, and I feel like, I feel like the person you're dealing with is older and um, they've been around the block. They know what they can get and, you know, they, they'll take what they can get. They might have made false promises. I, I feel like, you know, that's, um, that's something that could have happened and, you have to really think about this in a logical way because I feel things cycling back in. This isn't like an intermission. This isn't like, you know, we're taking a break from one another. No, this isn't a relationship that's not going to work. It's imbalanced and it's unfair to you. So you want to really get yourself out. So release and let it go. And um, it's pretty much the final, you know, so, so there is such a thing as free will. 
And what I'm sensing is this. Um, what I'm sensing is this. Okay, so if it's a faded relationship, okay, meaning that you meet up and, you know, this is like the order of the universe. You meet up and in a year from now, you're going to break up. And in between, whatever you do is up to you. And the sooner you break up, the, the better it will be because it's not, it's a faded relationship that's meant to break up. And you're supposed to learn something from it. And I feel like from this spread, the lesson that you're supposed to learn is that I deserve better. I need to demand what I want out of a relationship. And I need to, you know, set my foot down. I need to maintain firm boundaries because I feel like this is what is happening here. And you're an earth sign. So I feel like the boundary issues might be coming in from the person you're interacting with. It's somebody who is taking advantage of you and taking advantage of the situation. They're taking your advantage of your kindness as well. And I feel like because I'm ta talking to a younger crowd, I'm sensing that they're taking advantage of your pure heart, okay, that, that purity. And I feel like they've been knocked down by life such a, um, they've been knocked down a few times. And as a result, they don't know another way to live. And it's not your, it's not your karma to teach them how. It's not because you're going through your own karma, which is, you know, building up the sense of self-esteem, building up your foundation for your finances, for your own life. It's not your place to teach them these lessons. They're off on their own path and you both are like not on the same path or on the same wavelength. So it's not your lesson to be involved with this person long term. And I feel like the long, the, the sooner you just um, accept that the easier things are going to be for you because we do have another person coming through. And, you know, generally, I would say wait for one relationship to end and then heal up properly before you start another relationship. But I definitely feel circling, circling around your periphery is a fire sign. We have the page of wands here and especially communication coming through from a fire sign. We also have the emperor here. So which signifies possibly an Aries. So the fire signs are Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And I feel very strongly that this is a much better energy. It's a much better energy for you. So let this one go. And, you know, Taurus, this reading is very straightforward because I'm getting the same hits, same messages in different cards. So I there's no other way for me to interpret this. But I do feel that it's time to let go, okay? Because they're not they're not meant for you. And they're going to hold you back and they're going to, um, they're going to ruin that innocence within you. And when, you know, especially if you are a younger person dealing with like a much older person and you might feel like, are they taking advantage of me? Chances are, unfortunately they are. So just, um, protect yourself accordingly. Okay. And I feel that there might be deception, manipulation associated with this situation as well. So I do feel very strongly that um, somebody is manipulative. Somebody is manipulative, possibly using guilt to manipulate somebody. You know, using like guilt and using like um, mind games. I don't feel like... I don't even feel they're lying. The thing is, they're manipulative, okay? And manipulation has to deal with lies as well. But it could be like, you ask them, you know, where were you? And they feel that, oh, I don't need to tell you, you know, why are you asking me? It seems like that. It, it seems like you're not on the same wavelength. They don't see you together with them on the same life path. So they feel like they don't have to answer to you. And it's really frustrating because you're dealing with somebody who is not an equal relationship partner. There is lack of respect in this spread here. So please protect yourself, okay? If you're dealing with um, fire signs, for example, fire signs are a lot more honest, but there is definitely an energy surrounding you here that something is, is off with this water sign. Okay, so aside from that, let me see if I can do an alternate reading when it comes to, you know, love, relate, well, work and finances. I feel like if you're in a position of authority, you are going to have to, you are going to have to conform and you're also going to have to 
for a lot of you, it might be a work environment where you're dealing with this, okay? It might be just a work environment where you're, um, where you're dealing with like someone who's older, who is potentially a coworker, who's bearing false witness against you. I know that sounds like very um, biblical, but um, it's just somebody who is not. I feel like the 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 person in charge of the whole business operation is very legitimate because we have the emperor. But just this one person, this one colleague, this one coworker is making things very difficult for you. And um, my advice here is to release it, okay? Release it. Just let it go. If it's a work environment and you've been feeling this for quite some time, find another job. Just find another job because the foundation is you're not very happy. So there's really no point in holding on to this. But I do feel for the rest of this month, there is unfortunately one last struggle coming through and you're going to have to make up your mind whether or not you can bear to stay here or walk away. Okay, I'm actually going to feel, pull out a few more cards for you and see, you know, one card to see if this is work or love. I don't feel a Taurus can, would put up with this. If it's a love relationship, I don't sense that a Taurus will do that. So I feel like very strongly this might be work. So let's see, this is work. Yeah, it's a it's a work situation. It's a five of coins. So a lot of you might have been in an environment where, you know, you, you were unemployed for quite some time. So you took the first job that came through, hoping to achieve a little bit of financial security. The financial security at the onset of starting this job, it started to come in. But now you're realizing that like, oh my gosh, this job is so horrible. I feel like I'm selling my soul to the devil. So I do feel for a lot of you, this is a work environment because I just can't imagine a Taurus putting up with this in a relationship. I, I just don't feel it. But either way, we do have the two of cups, which denotes a, a relationship. But I'm sensing that, you know, you do have support from the supervisor. So if this is a supervisor, whoever is the per main person in charge, they're very, um, they're very, they have a strong sense of integrity and moral obligation to you. So if you want to make a complaint, okay, make a complaint and, you know, get your voice heard. If you're dealing with this in a um, relationship aspect, just get yourself out. There's no way this is going to work. But I'm sensing here that this is a, um, a job. After like going through a drought when it comes to job hunting, I feel like you landed this job and you feel grateful that you have this job. So you're not very hesitant to leave. But you feel at the same time you're being spiritually depleted, okay? Because you, you are not happy in this job. So if this is a job situation, let me just see, since for most of you, this is a job situation. So if this is a job, if you quit this job, will you be okay? And that would mean, you know, would you be okay finding another job? Or would another job come very soon for you? So let's just see here. Okay, so I have the death card, which means, once again, it is time to move on, okay? Whatever this situation is, you have to move on. If you are thinking about, if this is a work environment, I would advise you to move on and put yourself out there to get another job. Because, honestly, because I'm looking at this, and you're not happy there. You're not happy there. You feel, you, you feel like... Um, you feel like every day it's something. There has to be something. There's always a problem at work. And every day you go to work, you kind of dread it. So you're kind of slouching over and you feel very spiritually depleted. So Taurus, there's no need to put yourself in this situation, okay? Move on from it. And you have full support here. So, you know, just move on from it. And we do have Seven of Cups here, which indicates options dwindling. So there is only one way where this can go. So I, I do hope that I'm so sorry for the somber reading. And I hate to, you know, end with this, you know, before Thanksgiving. But I do feel that for a lot of you, the choice is pretty clear. But you're kind of still hanging on. I feel like the choice is really clear. So hopefully this message resonates with um, those of you watching in this situation. So that you work up the courage, I guess, to leave this situation, okay? And especially if it's a relationship situation. In work, I know that, you know, we don't want to be unemployed and we we 
we want to work hard, but you're not being utilized properly in this work environment. So just be careful about that, okay? Just try your best to find something else. Just try your best. And I do feel we have some um, a glimmer of hope here because the emperor is basically divine intervention coming through for you very, very shortly on your behalf. And it is going to break away some... I feel like it's going to break away some old structure and a better person is coming through. So if you're, th if you're hearing word of um, some type of personnel change, maybe that co-worker will be weaned out of the workplace, I, w I would say don't hold your breath for it because I feel like you're not happy here regardless. So, you know, try to leave it, okay?